We reported last week that the School of Science and Technology, a charter school here on the south side of town, had to push back their start day due to construction of their new building, but now they are up and running. Our Marissa Cummings visited the campus for their first day of school. I'm hanging out with Miss Carillon's fourth grade math class, and we're having an awesome first day of school, right guys? Yeah! Welcome back to school! I got to take a tour of the newly built school with its principal, Annabelle Mendiola. Yeah, so this hallway that we're looking at is our, our early childhood, so it's pre-K, kinder, and first grade here. The energy in the building was electric. And it's expected with all the new additions the school has, like a technology lab, large classrooms, and upstairs space. Mendiola says there are just a few more tweaks that need to be finished. Some of the glass um, work for the offices, um, we need to put that in. Those touch ups seem to have very little effect on how much the students are enjoying their campus. What do you think about how the school looks? It looks amazing. It has nice paint. I like the view from the windows. I like the stairs and the elevators, and I like the nice view outside. The many windows in the building were definitely a hit, especially for Irene Rosas, who's been teaching at the School of Science and Technology for seven years. She says it's vastly different from the old campus. Well, we didn't have windows. It was an old HEB, so they converted it to fit us. Rosas says now she can integrate the outdoors into her classroom. And then the naval base is on this side, so we get to see the planes when they're flying around, like the kids already pointed them out. The students and teachers are going to explore the building even more come open house time at the beginning of September. Reporting at SST with these awesome students, Marissa Cummings, 3 News. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Hope they have a good school year. Thanks, Marissa.